Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have what I assume will be another fabulous My Ireland box that's been sent to me for review by the amazing Catherine and her wonderful team over in Dingle, Ireland. This is best described as a lifestyle box because we get a variety of products from self-care to delicious edible treats, but really it's a lot more than that. It's definitely a great cultural box if you're interested in Irish history, heritage, and what's going on there in contemporary Ireland as well. Uh, Catherine puts together a beautiful booklet every single month that tells us all about what's going on in her world and also gives us some insight into why she's selected the different makers that are featured in the box. We get recipes, we get poems, we get books. It is really just very delightful and they also have a really active Facebook group that I know a lot of people love being a part of. They have great customer service and I've just really enjoyed all of the themes that she has covered over the past couple of years that I've been reviewing this box. The box itself is just $49.95 per month and the shipping to the U.S. is $15.50. So it's a little bit on the pricier side, but when you consider how expensive shipping is, especially international shipping, I do think you're getting a great deal. And I know a lot of people have a connection to Ireland or Irish heritage, so they really love getting this as a box to enjoy as a family. I do have a code for you. It's MAUI, M-A-U-I, and that'll save you $5. But definitely, if you're thinking of subscribing or getting this as a gift, poke around on the website because she's always got all kinds of great deals going on where you can get free free items or better discounts. So by all means, let her know that you found the box on my channel, but definitely get the deal that works the best for you. Let's go ahead and get into it though, because this box feels heavy. Sometimes we'll just get maybe three items. Sometimes we get seven items. It just depends on that particular month, but I do think the value is for the most part always there. So it all comes wrapped up in some green tissue paper, very lime green tissue paper, with a little My Ireland Box sticker, but then I usually have to kind of root around in there because I have to find the booklet that does have all of that lovely information from Catherine, which started out as a double-sided letter, and now I think sometimes it's like a 30-page booklet, and that's usually where our recipe is hiding as well. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in this box this time around, you guys. Most of it looks pretty nestled in there with tissue paper but my boxes definitely have a harrowing journey every time so bear with me as I kind of root around and find all of the items that we have to take a look at today so the first thing I want to show you is of course our recipe card and sometimes there's additional recipes that are in the booklet this time it is for old school Irish marmalade yogurt tea cake that looks delicious I don't know that I have the patience to make it but maybe I do actually it doesn't look that that hard and I'm very excited because I finally got a kitchen scale and they always do all of their measurements in weights so now maybe I'll be able to actually be a little bit more accurate when I'm doing things so that actually looks really good I do love marmalade so happy to receive that well also there was a mailer bag that the box came in and we got this extra go wild magazine it says Irish and proud so always fun to get an extra like glossy magazine it just makes me have that wanderlust though and want to go back to Ireland which I visited now I think it was like five or six years ago so I'm overdue for another trip to the Emerald Isle because there is so much to see there all right so this is our Thanksgiving at the Irish Castle November box look at that beautiful castle with that lake there I love that this is a really thick booklet there's a lot of pages to this one so I won't go through and ooh, there's extra recipes for a scrumptious scone recipe uh, let's see Irish Barm Brack, a ginger cake recipe, and then of course Catherine's lengthy letter, but it looks like there's a lot of items this time around. Ooh, a trip to a castle in Killarney. Lots of beautiful images to kind of look at. Now I've gotten to the makers section. That's what I'm gonna focus on, you guys, because we have a lot to go through today. And I do like to go ahead and read a lot so that you know the kinds of items that we get. I'm seeing some familiar makers names, so they might be familiar to you as well if you're a subscriber, if you've been following this box along on my channel. So let's see if I can find the first one. So yes, we have a Cleves chocolate bar and pouch of chocolate caramels. Um, I love chocolate caramels. I am so excited about this one. So we got this whole bag of caramels and an orange crisp bar. 
super excited about any chocolate that they then send us. Basically all of the treats that Catherine ever sends us are amazing. It says, I love chocolate caramels and have wanted to send a bag to you for a while now. I'm delighted that Leo could make them for me this time. I asked him for one of his special Cleves bars for you also. He is such a pleasure to work with as he is so passionate about his chocolate and bringing back all of the old time treats that were absent for decades. He's on a mission to bring them all to us again. Our members love his chocolate as do we. Leo Cummins business is called Hazelbrook Confectionery and is based in Newbridge County Kildare. As I said above, I love his great plan to revive old Irish candy brands and bring some nostalgia back to the market. There is an advantage in reviving these brands because they already come with a distinct history with tried and tested product recipes which have a record of pleasing people. There are still plenty of people about who have strong and happy memories of them. So I will create my own happy memories of this uh, confection Hazelbrook Confectionery. Uh, so it's from the Cleves, I guess maybe that is the uh, traditional name. Maybe Cleves is what's gone, but he's creating those recipes at Hazelbrook Confectionery. Cool. All right. Ooh, we got a bread mix, you guys. We've gotten bread mixes before from this same company, which, you know, I actually wrote to them. I emailed them separately the last time because I had an, a question about the ingredients, if it was like an either or situation. And they were kind enough to get back to me. Like that, that is how amazing these companies are. So this is from Wild Fuchsia Bakehouse. This is an Irish Wheaton bread mix. So simple, wholesome, tasty brown bread. So it sounds like something to add to your delicious meal. Meal, and it's really easy so our baking instructions I'm trying to see what else I have to add to it I think I just have to get milk and a medium egg or buttermilk in an egg so I think that was like the same question that I had for them before so this is uh, Sean from Wild Fuchsia Bakehouse located in the seaside town of Dunfanaghy uh, County Donegal so it says Sean's bread and scone mixes first grabbed my attention when I read that she had said my childhood memories are a mixture of smells and tastes from the delicious home baking made by my granny, great aunt, and mother. My mother is now known by her grandkids as Granny Bun. When you bake, the house is filled with glorious smells and you end up with something delicious at the end of it. We call cupcakes and the like buns. If I bring my kids to the local bakery here in Dingle, Courtney's, I say, shall we go and get a bun? Sean has a few nice recipes on the blog section of her website, Wild Fuchsia, it's dot IE, and it says, many of you have been calling for another bread mix and this one in particular you love, so here it is again, adding a nice touch of Irish to your dining this November. What a treat to serve up for for those celebrating Thanksgiving and for the November dining of all our members, of course. The whiskey marmalade is there to add some pizzazz to this bake. All right, I'm gonna have to find that next because uh, that sounds amazing on a delicious rustic bread. Let me see if there's a whiskey marmalade. Okay, so this is from another company that's been in this box before. I got a lemon curd from them. It's still like one of my favorites. This is from the Big Red Kitchen. Let me get that to focus. It's Nicola Smith's award-winning Irish whiskey marmalade. It says, marmalade is nostalgic to me as it was always in our kitchen at breakfast time. I picture my dad standing up at the breakfast counter having buttered his soda bread and then going for a good dollop of Irish marmalade. I love Nicola's preserves. She began making jam as a hobby a few years ago, helped by neighbor Pat Clark of Clark's Fresh Fruit. I distributed his Christmas gifts in my first year. My great grandmother made jam many years ago and entered county fair competitions along with her daughters. And I remember making jam with my aunt when I visited Navan on holidays as a child. I got a great response from people for the jam I made and my partner suggested I try selling the product at a local craft fair. The environmental health department came out to inspect and approve her home kitchen and she started attending craft fairs and farmers markets in nearby counties local cafes and now her jams marmalades curds and chutneys are in high demand all around Ireland abroad too now since this curd is in your hands so I think that was from the curd this is the marmalade enjoy this Irish nostalgic treat with your baked bread I love the whiskey kick I'm sure I'm gonna love that too so that probably has to do with why we got that uh, marmalade recipe as well on our recipe card all the stuff that I've gotten from the Big Red Kitchen has been amazing, you guys. All right, so I gotta figure out what this is. It's all wrapped up. Let me see, I might need some scissors. So it looks like everything came to me in good condition. Ooh, I love when we get something like this. I don't even know what it is yet, but I'll have to figure it out. So let's see, this is from Cool Redesign. It's a, uh-oh, I'm not gonna know how to pronounce this. Buichas uh, Tea Light Holder? Let me see. So hopefully she gives me the uh, the pronunciation, but it's made out of wood. It says uh, from Cool Redesign in my Ireland box. So it's a little tea light votive that they collaborated on. 
Let's see. And there's a little poem, of course, about the tea light holder inspired by the majestic Dunless Castle. So that's the information to read. But let me see if I can figure out how to slide this off of here so that I don't mess it up because, of course, you know me, I'll want to take photos for them for over on Instagram, but I don't want to mess up their label, but I want to show it to you. It says, nestled in the protected bogs of Kildare, Warren Hayes Workshop was a busy den, handmaking this amazing castle-themed surprise for my Ireland box members. I love when she gets stuff made just for the box. It says, Warren utilizes traditional techniques whilst creating wood-turned treasures with very modern appeal. He prototypes each and every product using hand tools, and every creation is brought to life using carefully selected timber in his work workshop and is then finished by hand. He even contacted me with all sorts of timber types and we chose the right one together. Look how cool that is, you guys. You need to get the right timber. My favorite timbers are ash and walnut. It's very important to have good quality wood. Warren made so many little turrets and we settled on this one. As I said above, I really wanted the word buihas. I have no idea, you guys. B-U-I-O-C-H-A-S written on it and I sent pictures of different turrets with the writing on different parts of the votive but we settled on the bottom of it as it looked nicer there. We also corresponded back and forth about including the song verse and little note on the card and I like how it all came together. Maybe I'll get to Dunless Castle soon and bring you on the adventure with me. I love how this votive was inspired by such a majestic castle in Ireland. So it's based on a castle turret. I love the fact that they uh, burned that word into the bottom, especially since I don't know how to pronounce it. I need to have Catherine give me a heads up on uh, important things like this. Sometimes she does give us the phonetic uh, explanation of it, but I don't think it's on this card either. So I'm going to guess it's like Bikas? Be be I have no idea. You guys let me know in the comments below. I know some of you are better with your Irish Gaelic than I am, but I think that that's really cool that it's inspired by a castle turret, but it doesn't necessarily look like it. It has a very modern aesthetic to it, which you guys know I love. And of course that tea light comes right out and you can always put a new one in there. So super cool. And I do really, like I said, appreciate that they included the inspiration, which I'm not sure if that means like castle turret or maybe it means castle um, on the bottom instead of putting it along the top somewhere where it would be more conspicuous and I would have to struggle with my pronunciation and explaining it to people. Ooh, wow. You guys, this box is loaded full of stuff. Talk about gratitude for all of these. This is from Foods of Athernry, which I think we've gotten like some cookies or biscuits from them before. Fully loaded flapjack minis. You love the oat bar, that's what it was, that I sent you during the summer. So here's a pouch of the same bar and little mini bites for you to share. Behind the foods of Athenry is an enthusiastic farm family. Like many farm families, baking deliciously healthy food for their own kitchen table, driven by necessity but rooted in tradition. Our story started with family and those traditions are our core. If a discovery is said to be an accident meeting a prepared mind, then we took what life threw at us back in the early 2000s. Uncertain future in agriculture, childhood health problems which influenced a lifelong interest in the relationship of food versus health and set up a bakery business in which there was no room for any artificial food additives and so we sold the cows in 2004 and the bakery moved into the now empty milking parlor the foods of athenry was born and should you believe in the mysteries of the universe, my grandparents owned one of the largest bakeries in the west of Ireland almost a hundred years ago. There is tradition in my fingertips and the magic in my hands. And that is from Siobhan, who's behind these flapjack minis. Those look delicious, um, like a snack. Uh, super excited about that. All right, we got some more items. Still more, you guys. Wow, this box is like packed full of stuff. I still see more here in the bottom. Let me pull that out. And then I'm seeing something else, uh, like reading from Ireland. Wow. So greetings from Ireland card from Fado Antiques Ireland. Let's see what this is. This might be this guy, I think so. So it's like kind of an antique postcard. It looks like it's been reprinted. It says, walking into Fado Antiques makes your eyes rapidly move into every corner of the shop. I feel like a magpie when I'm in there. I can barely speak to my friend Deirdre who works there or to owners Yvonne and her mom, Ava. There's just too much to take my attention away from them. Shiny Irish silver, paintings by Ava's husband, Pat, a grandfather clock that seems to look at me with a pleasant face, a set of cups and saucers that instantly sets me thinking about tea in a little thatched cottage. Treasures galore. I spotted this old postcard and said to Yvonne that I had to send it to all of you for Thanksgiving castle theme. You can frame it if you like. I really like it. It makes me smile. So that is very sweet that it's got that like old type on there. And then we even have the old postmark and stamp on the back. So you could probably put a real uh, stamp on it and send it if you wanted to be nice. 
We also got, if you want to hold on to that one, but actually send some Irish love to someone else, a set of Irish Castles Christmas cards. Oh, that's cool, with some more Gaelic that I can't pronounce. So we did, of course, get the envelopes to go along with it. Ooh, these are some nice winter scenes. So it says, Nolagshana. I don't know what that means. Season's greetings, maybe? I have no idea. Is the Gaelic for Happy Christmas? Okay, so it's the Joyeux Noël, but it's a... Uh, um, Nolakshana, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong, don't worry, I know that, it says I wanted to bring some Christmas into this Thanksgiving My Ireland box just to warm you up and so here it is in the form of a set of cards that I created with Edwin, my trusty designer here in Dingle. He also makes this booklet look nice too. As I said above, Nolakshana is the Gaelic for Happy Christmas and I'm sure that you will think of a few people that would like a nod to Ireland within their Christmas card this year. So love that winter scene. This is a dare castle. We also got this one, more snow. This is Malahide Castle. And then finally, ooh, this one is very pretty with the green. This is Ross Castle in Killarney in Kerry, Ireland. But the vibrant image, uh, vibrant colors on that one are really, really stunning. So three lovely holiday greeting cards for the Irish folks in your uh, list, in your hopefully nice list. And then we have a one final item, I believe, and there's a lot to tell you about. Oh, it does tell us about that marmalade yogurt tea cake recipe. It says, I really like this one. I'm delighted to send it to you for your November baking. It's a great one to whip up and serve with tea if you have visitors or just to enjoy yourself. Uh, it reminds me so much of the cake we baked in boarding school. Enjoy it. So let's see. She does have some Gaelic phrases for your Thanksgiving November dining, but still not that uh, item that's on the bottom of that tea light holder. So we did get a cute little greeting card. So very cute. I see some tato crisps there from Rachel Corcoran out of Dublin. It says from an early age, Rachel was fascinated by art and imagery. She drew over everything, the walls, tables, floors, and my Beatrix Potter books. Oh dear. Art is a big part of who she is and she would be lost without it. It was her favorite subject in school and escape from reality. Back then, Rachel never thought a career in art was a possibility. Therefore, she went to university, studied the history of art and archaeology as she felt Felt a more academic life was probably a better life choice. She loved these subjects but missed creating. Graduating college during a crippling economic recession saw her eventually drift from an academic path back to the artistic road that she had always dreamed of walking down. After a couple of years experimenting with art and design, Rachel launched her online print shop in 2012 which showcased uplifting and inspiring hand-lettered quotes. Since then, she has taken new paths with her product range and created a world of intriguing illustrations and stories which are captured on beautiful, sustainable sustainably sourced papers. Love to hear that. From her little studio in her hometown Dublin, Rachel works as a freelance illustrator and designer. When she is in between client projects, she loves to get lost in her daily daydreams and create personal pieces from her shop. All aspects of Rachel's business are handled by herself, from illustrating and designing to brand photography, emailing, administration, packing, posting, marketing, website designing, and all the important tea making. I think you'll all agree that Rachel's illustrations kindle some fairly potent childhood wonder. There's something a little bit magic about her work and we adore it. That is a quote from the National Gallery of Ireland. Rachel says, I combine wit, originality, prettiness, and nostalgia within each image. I predominantly digitally illustrate and color my scenes. Inspired by my traditional art background, I use techniques I've learned throughout the years, such as sketchy pencil lines and splashes of thickly applied paint. My handmade aesthetic is much loved with customers as it reminds them of times gone by when the world was a little bit more rose tinted. So I think this will evoke a lot of nostalgia in people who maybe grew up in Ireland. My illustrations are inspired by my many interests, including Ireland and her inimitable charm and humor, old packaging and vintage botanical prints, ooh I love those too, uh, cherished memories and storytelling. I adore both vintage design and nostalgia such as the intricate decorative details and the personal stories associated with each piece of ephemera. I interpret this influence within my own illustrations to create a nostalgic narrative which offers an escape to a charmingly whimsical world. My designs are not only thoughtful and sweet in sentiment but they are also earth kind. So again using sustainably sourced paper which we definitely love to hear. I'm trying to see if maybe so Nolig Hana is how you say what's on the greeting cards. She did give us the phonetic pronunciation for that earlier on. And then I'm trying to see if we have the uh, pronunciation for Buyokas, which means thanks. Okay, so it means gratitude. That's what's under our little turret tea light. So it, I have no idea how to say it. So she will probably tell me Bukas. I that's my best guess. So it's Nolig what did I say? Nolag Hana, and I'm going to say 
Puigras. I have no idea, you guys. Please let me know. I would love to know how to pronounce that. But again, this was a fabulous box full of so many things. We have a whole section on nature in November in Ireland. Tons of items from fabulous makers, some artwork, lots of great recipes, lots of great treats. We got the cleaves, uh, chocolates, as well as the bar. We got the bakehouse uh, bread mix. We got our card, a little postcard, some Christmas cards featuring castles, the Irish whiskey marmalade, the loaded flapjack minis, the coolery designs, original design, little tea light, that's probably my favorite. Um, of course, that lovely card from Rachel Corcoran and our marmalade yogurt tea cake recipe. A very full box, full of fantastic things. I hope that you are all very thankful this season. I definitely am thankful for my Ireland box and for all of you. I hope you enjoyed the video and to see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.